I'm Lynn Ahrens, and I wrote book and lyrics for Little Dancer. Little Dancer is an original musical, uh, so we've woven a lot of facts into this fiction that we've created. The story is set in the backstage world of the Paris Opera Ballet, where these young ballerinas, who they called little rats, would scamper around the backstage of the Paris Opera Ballet, determined to become full-fledged ballerinas. And it was a world of glamour, of tawdriness, of men who gave, were given access to the backstage world. And our story focuses on one of these girls, uh, whose name was Marie van Goethem. She was the real young woman who posed for the famous Edgar Degas sculpture, uh, Little Dancer, age 14. And it is the story of a young girl who is on the brink of a career, very talented, very stubborn. And it's the story of the artist that she encounters very coincidentally backstage, Edgar Degas, who is a man who sees the end of his career looming because he's, he's losing his eyesight. And this collision of two very stubborn wills and two very great artists um, results in a masterwork of art. But it also has some very, very unexpected consequences for both of them. It's a romance, it's a drama, and it interweaves art and music and, of course, dance. When I was a little girl, my parents often took me to the museum in New York, and I was very familiar with the sculpture as a child, and I posed in front of it in fourth position. And if you go to the museum now, there's always a young girl or two posing in fourth position. I've always loved that sculpture, but I encountered her again as an adult, and um, I think it was in about 2006 uh, I saw her again. And I suddenly was very taken by the girl who posed for the sculpture, not so much the beautiful sculpture, but the girl behind it. And I didn't know a thing about her, and it suddenly occurred to me to wonder, who was she? She's so stubborn, she's so, she looks so spirited, and she looks so cocky, and, and she looks so skinny. Who was she? What was her story? How did she meet a great artist? Why was she an inspiration for this groundbreaking work of art? I began to do some research, and, and out of that grew a notion that this might be a musical. It's set in this colorful, glorious world with intrigue and danger and, of course, great art. And I just suddenly thought there's an idea here. And Susan Stroman is a dear old friend of mine as well as a neighbor. And we've been looking over the years for a project to work together on. And, and this just seemed perfect for her. And Stephen fell in love with the world musically. So um, suddenly she sprang to life as a, as a musical character.